Welcome to the Kingdom. I'm Chris, and this is Good Enough Gaming. Howdy folks, and welcome to the first video in a series on how to play the various game systems from One Page Rules. The goal of this series is to introduce new players to all the elements of a game from start to finish through a series of shorter videos and then capstone it all off with a tutorial battle report at the very end. In this first video, we're going to look at what you need in order to play a game. First, you're going to need a place to play. Now, if you're already involved in other tabletop war games, you may already have a dedicated gaming table. But if not, not to worry. You can use a coffee table, the dining room table. Heck, I played my first miniature board game on the floor. Don't worry for now if the table isn't very big. The goal right now is to learn the rules and get comfortable with the game. You can also always head to your friendly local gaming store and use one of their tables. You just need a flat surface to play that's bigger than, say, you know, a TV dinner tray. The next thing you're going to need is some kind of terrain, something to spruce up the battlefield. Now, wargaming veterans may already have boxes and boxes of painted terrain that make their boards look great. If you don't, again, not to worry. You can use empty cardboard boxes, soda cans, stacks of books. I've seen pretty nice terrain made from styrofoam and the packing material that comes in delivery boxes. Anything here works as long as it can give the playing field some depth, some variety, and some complexity. The next item you're going to need, of course, are items to represent your warriors on the board. Now sure, fully painted and based miniatures always looks best. But if you're getting started here, and if you're new not just to one-page rules, but to war games in general, you might not have all that. So let's use whatever you have at hand. Anything from old toys, to action figures, to green plastic army men. Heck, you can even use Lego. The game you want to play will determine how many figures you need. If you're going to play Grimdark Firefight or Age of Fantasy Skirmish, you'll only need a handful, maybe 10 to 12. If you're going to play one of the larger games like Age of Fantasy or Grimdark Future, you're going to need several dozen per side. To help new players get started, One Page Rules actually provides free starter armies for new players. If you head to OnePageRules.com and click on the Start Set link, it will provide you both STL files and paper files that you can use. So if you have a 3D printer, you get those free STL files for two starter armies, a ruler, tokens, and the core rules. But don't worry, if you don't have a 3D printer, it provides those same items as PDFs that you can print out and use on paper as minis and or tokens. Now if we take a look at what's included with the paper minis, you can see that you get tokens, terrain, and a whole bunch of options for the miniatures. There are paper miniatures that stand up like a chessboard, and paper miniatures that lie flat like checkers. It also includes both pre-colored and blank paper minis, in case you either want to create your own color scheme, or you just don't want to use up all the colored ink in your printer. The bundle also includes instructions for two different ways to build the paper minis. So if you don't have any tabletop miniatures and you don't have anything to use as a proxy, this will still get you everything you need for the cost of a few printed sheets of paper. Okay, you're almost ready. There's only a couple more things you're gonna need to play a game. You'll want some kind of measuring device, a ruler, a tape measure, something that's marked in inches. You're also gonna need a handful of six-sided dice. 10 would be great, 5 I'd say is about the bare minimum. You may have to go raiding some of your old board games or something like that to find a few. You may also need to find a couple different tokens or markers, something you can use to mark your units as you activate them each turn, and to keep track of health for the warriors in your army that have more than one wound. You could simply get some additional dice of different colors and use those. You could use glass beads, you could use little pieces of wood or plastic. Again, it doesn't matter just as long as you know what you're using each of these markers for. I think one of the easiest things would be to use different colored dice. So just remember that your white dice are for rolling, your red dice represent health, and your blue dice represent which units have already activated. 
Now craft stores have lots of items that can be used for markers too. Like I mentioned, glass beads, wooden discs, people, pieces of plastic. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Now next, believe it or not, this is actually an optional thing. You need someone to play against. Now I say it's optional because you could technically try out all these things with yourself just to get the hang of the game and the rules before bringing in a friend. Kind of like playing the single player campaign in a video game before you jump into the multiplayer. But if you got a friend who wants to play the game with you, that's just as awesome. And the two of you can sit down and figure out the rules together. Okay, so now that you've got a board, some terrain, some figures, head on over to One Page Rules and download the Quick Start Rules. As the name implies, the entire core rules for your first game fit on just one page. In the next few videos, we're gonna take a look at how to use those rules, and we'll look at the specifics of how the game mechanics work. We'll also take a look at the free army builder that One Page Rules provides to set up and play our very first game. So stick around for the rest of the videos in the series. You might not pick up everything immediately, but don't worry, I'm sure you'll do good enough.